Hello everyone, welcome back to Cherished Friends. And if you're new, welcome. I'm so happy that you're here. Today I wanted to show off my Elowen doll, Elowen Wild by Robert Tonner. Rachel Hoffman with Virtual Doll Convention is doing Tonner Fest right now in the month of June. So watch her videos and you can see what's going on. But it's inspired me to show off my Robert Tonner dolls. So I'm going to start with Elowen. She was the first one in my collection. So I have unboxed her before. I've had her for a while now and I've had her on display, but I have put her back in her box so we can kind of show a box opening, even though it's not officially a box opening. But this is the box and how wonderful is that artwork on there? The boxes are beautiful. And also, before we continue, I just want to invite you to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I really appreciate your support, and I like the comments, too. If you want to comment on my videos, I'll always like to chat back with you. So please do that. And here we go. Let's get the lid off of this box and see what's inside. Well, we know what's inside, but... Ooh, there's our Halloween. So pretty. Now I had bought, she is a wig doll, and I had purchased an extra wig for her. This is called Elowen's Gambit. This was inspired by the movie that came out around that time, The Queen's Gambit, and I got the blonde version. So we might try that on later. Put that there. And she comes with a stand. I've already assembled that because of course I've had her displayed. So I'll just set that over there. And she came with a beautiful little hang tag on her wrist. And I've taken that off and put it in a bag to preserve that. out. Now she was tied in with all these ribbons here. I can't grab that. She was tied in very securely when we got her and but she's been out so she's free. There we go. There's our Elowen. Let you see up close. Well, she has beautiful painted eyes blue with very subtle mauve eyeshadow and a muted lip and some nice blushing here. Look at the sculpting. This one I have not pierced her ears yet but I may do so. Actually Rachel Hoffman has a tutorial on her channel and I have pierced the ears of a couple of my other Tonner dolls but I haven't done her yet. And this is called Baby Doll Basic. And it said that on the box somewhere, I think. Now she was one of the basic models, a little bit less expensive than the high fashion dolls that come with a full ensemble. <sighs> so they usually just come in, you know, a little bit of a nighty or some lingerie. And she's got cute little underwear on here. Beautifully made. This is a Robert Tonner design. And she's got gorgeous red hair. And I'll just show you the wig comes off like that. There's little Velcro tabs that help to secure it. And that's what she looks like. There was one on the back actually too, but that one came off. They're easily easy to glue back on. I just haven't done that yet. I've kept it in the box here. But actually I like the ease of being able to just pop it on quickly like that. So here's Elowen. We can put her on her stand and then I'll step back and let you take a better look. There we go. She's very poseable. So I just wanted to get her on the stand a little bit better. It is a telescopic stand. And so this can go up like that. Oh, her wig's coming off again. Sorry, Elowen, for being rough with you. 
Okay, so let's try this time. And it's, this is called a saddle stand. So she just sits on it like a saddle and then you can move it up. If she's wearing high-heeled shoes, this is really helpful to be able to adjust it like that. There we go. Compose her in all different ways. She's a gorgeous doll. I just love this Elowen. Oh my goodness, you all need an Elowen in your collection. Look at her. So cute. And I was a member of her virtual closet, Rachel's virtual closet. Um, for last year, I didn't do it for the first season, but the second season I did, and I got, I think, four or five outfits from that collection, and um, it was really fun. So I have lots of clothes to change her into. I may do it again this year. I'm not sure, but I'm uh, hoping to, and I'm also hoping to get a Grace doll um, from the Tonner Fest this year. My camera decided to die and I needed to charge it. So, and I also had to run and find Elowen's shoes because she does come with shoes and I had them on another doll upstairs. So while my battery was charging, I ran up and grabbed those, but these are the little sandals that she comes with and they have a little buckle and high heels. They're so well made. Look at that detail. And they go on really easily. Those are her shoes. And yeah, so I think I mentioned before a moment ago, um, Rachel's uh, subscription package. It's actually not virtual closet, it's dream closet. So I got the name wrong, sorry about that. And also the dates for the release of the new dolls, I believe are June 9th and June, look at my calendar back here, June 16th are the two days. So if by chance I don't get this video up before that time, I apologize, um, but hopefully I will, that's my goal. So I thought I would change her into a different wig and a different outfit. So I'm just gonna pause for a moment and get get her dress ready and get my camera situated. All right, so I have a dress here that was an add-on to the dream closet, I believe around Christmas time, um, something you could buy separately. And it's this beautiful gown here. I can't quite remember the name of it, but look how pretty it is. It's sparkly and almost like a Cinderella gown. And it's lined, beautifully made. Most of the items in her um, dream closet are not Robert Tonner designed fashions. They're, most of them are Ruby Red Galleria. And, um, but the dolls that you buy in their outfits, like this one here, and the fashion ones will have the label of Robert Tonner. So that one is a Robert Tonner one there. So let me see if we can get this on her. Probably take her off. All right, let's try undressing her here. Hopefully her wig won't go flying. I have put all of my dream closet clothing on the other girls and they're fine. They're a little bit loose on them because they have skinnier bodies, but there we go. There's little hooks there. I'm not sure if I got that in because I can't see up that close, but there we go. I think that'll do for now. Beautiful. So it's a lined dress and then this sheer part over top so pretty now why don't we make you a blonde what do you think should we put your blonde wig on that might i just this is actually my favorite of the two but she's had this on for quite a while with a wig it came in two colors and 
because she already had the red wig i of course chose the blonde one they're very well packaged i have had this wig on her a few times already but i always like to put it back in the hair net afterward and put the stuffing in because it just keeps its shape and it keeps it from getting all messed up so there's the hair net and another thing i've discovered about these wigs they tend they're very fine hair it's very fine hair so you get little wispy bits sometimes like this and at first it bothered me, but then I realized all you have to do is get a tiny bit of water on your fingers and just smooth it like that. And it seems to just reactivate whatever hair product was in there and it smooths it right down again. So that's not a problem. I haven't brushed, I wouldn't brush through this because I mean, you can comb it gently, but it's got a set in it and I wouldn't want that to be spoiled. Same with this one here. Okay, Eloine, we're gonna make you bald for a moment here. We'll wrap that one up later. Let's see if we can get this on. Now there's that. I think this one also lost its little Velcro, so we'll just have to. I went in with a little bit of water and I actually used a very fine bristled toothbrush and that helped quite a bit. Let's see if I can turn her a little bit for you. I tried to uh, recreate the Marlowe flip at the back. Whoops, I missed a little part, part right here. But it, it kind of bounces back to its style quite well. You can play with it and brush it. It's so cute. So that's our Elowen. And now I wanted to show you some of the dream closet boxes I got. So I'm back with all of my dolls and the dream boxes spread out. I don't have them all out because I didn't have room on my table, but I wanted to give you an idea of what they look like and what Rachel's team put together for the dream boxes and virtual doll convention. You can see the one girl here in the poodle skirt with her poodle. And that is a, I believe a Sydney sculpt, one of the older Tonner dolls. And I believe she was the one, or the Sydney I believe is the one that they based the Grace doll from, but they did different painting on her. So, and this is what the box looked like that that little outfit came in. It was a 50s theme and they came in all these different colors and I got the red one. And it comes with this paper doll. I won't go through everything that's in the boxes because Rachel's done detailed videos of all of these and other people have posted pictures as well. All these cute stickers. But just to give you a little idea. And then this one here was the Chinese New Year themed box. And then this girl over here is wearing that one. She's got her parasol, or they called it an umbrella. And then her Chinese New Year dress and her golden shoes. Now, this is an older sculpt, so she her feet are not as large as the Grace doll. Elowen's feet are also smaller. So these shoes look huge on her, but I'm hoping if I get a Grace doll this time around, um, all these things are gonna fit perfectly. It's Elowen, her hair's all pretty. And this is a Christmas box. And oh my goodness, that was one of my favorites. There was lots of goodies in there. There was another little dress too. There was this one, and then there was this one here. Very cute little sweater dress. And then the muff, of course. Very cute. And then this one came with a muff also. I got like a hot pink one in this box. It says Happy Valentine's Day. Oh, I had thought this was a Christmas winter one, but yeah, I guess this did come out in February. And the girl that's wearing that is over here. That was the snowflake. Oh, 
outfit. And she's got a Birkin, a mini Birkin. That was so fun to get that. She doesn't have her shoes on because I don't have that many doll shoes for these ladies. Actually, I need to order some from Rachel's website. And I did pierce this girl's ears. I was so happy that I did that. It turned out beautiful. This is a Tyler Wentworth Worth doll. And she's also a Robert Tonner, one of the earlier versions of his dolls. So these are the four that I have. I did have one other that I sold to my friend Adam. But these are the ones I have and I'm hoping to get more with Tonner Fest. I can't wait till they go on sale and I, I'm not sure if I'm going to get another Elowin or not. I'm gonna try and go for Grace. I know they're very limited so wish me luck and I'll see you when we go shopping. Thank you so much for watching my video. I really appreciate it. If you enjoyed it, please subscribe and like and comment below because I love to hear your comments and I love to uh, chat back with you. So I will talk to you soon. Bye for now.